Congratulations, by the way, you're playing your Elvis. Yeah, man. That's Thank so you. fun. Thank you. I'm who? Yeah, Jacob Elordi was on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon last night promoting his new movie Priscilla, directed by Sofia Coppola, where he plays Mr. Presley. I don't know if I like it. What do you mean you don't know if you like it? And Jacob claimed that his only prior knowledge of the king of rock and roll was from a 2002 Disney flick. The most I knew of Elvis was in Lilo and Stitch. That kind of... Wow! Yeah. I've compiled a list of his traits for you to practice. Number one is dancing. That was my... Uh, yeah, Isn't we, that amazing? Yeah, which is, well, pretty, I guess that's which what... is a lot. Elvis played guitar. Here. Hold it like this. It actually looks like you can gain a lot of knowledge <laughs> from that movie, from the clips I just watched right there. But yeah, I don't believe Jacob, and I doubt you do either. And I also don't believe he phoned in, well not even phoned in, like, barely made an effort with his audition as he makes it sound. There's just no chance that this is happening. So I watched this, this clip of him uh, when he came back from, from, the, from the army in Germany and, and I read the lines for like 15 minutes and then shot two takes and, and you know, not thinking that it would, uh, it would go anywhere. From the way Jacob is talking, you think he's on his way to a Razzie nomination, but the reviews for Priscilla started to come out today and nope, he's gonna be contender for an Oscar nomination. Was there something you're hiding? I don't have a goddamn thing to hide. The reviews do point out that Jacob isn't playing the, you know, superstar on stage Elvis. This is like the Elvis stripped away of all that, I don't know what you call it, like pizzazz is the only word that's come to mind. Which explains Jacob's mindset shooting the film. The whole time I was trying to, trying to take it like I was making Blue Valentine or something. Just like a straight up relationship drama without Elvis and Priscilla for Sofia Coppola. That yeah, was like the goal. Entertainment Weekly said in their review that it's pointless to compare Jacob's Elvis to the Oscar nominated and probably oh so close to winner Austin Butler's Elvis. Well, you may go to college, you may go to school. Because they had very different assignments, fair enough, but I certainly can compare their interviews on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon as they both promoted their Elvis movie. I'm pretty sure my voice for that was like a... It's not just one voice of Elvis. His voice changed so much over the years. Uh, well, I like to say how happy you are to be down here. It's a real honor for us to be, get a chance to appear on Louisiana Hayride. I, I, everything's happening to me so fast in the last year and a half till uh, I, I'm all mixed up, you know. I mean, I, I can't keep up with everything that's happening. Well, he just came out of here from Memphis and... Uh, Austin Butler's press tour was long. From promoting the movie in like May, June. Actually, no, even before that. Because yeah, they were at the uh, Cannes Film Festival too. So yeah, like, I guess it was like early May to like late June. He's promoting this movie. Then the awards season was from like November to what, like February? So it was a lot of Austin Butler talking about Elvis. And by the end, yeah, he was getting mocked a bit, at least like, or at least eliciting some giggles. You, you know, I don't think I sound like him still, but I, <laughs> I guess I must because I hear it a lot. A year later, Jacob is doing the complete opposite. Like I've never seen an actor downplay their own performance more. Yeah, the chi was just deeply scented. And yeah, 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 I understand. The second yeah, you yeah. zip it up, it comes up to right about here. It doesn't go further. Like, Bang, yeah, wow. You know, I mean, that's obviously a point of decision that Jacob is making. Um, is there a correlation to what happened to Austin Butler in his press tour? I don't know. Um, surely Jacob saw what ended up happening to Austin. Oh, I need a woman who understands that things like this might happen. Are you going to be here or not? And if Jacob's decision to downplay his own performance is partly in reaction to what happened to Austin last year, that's not a knock on Austin. That's just that, yeah, that's the response that Austin got from talking about how serious he takes his work. I mean, it's the biggest responsibility I've ever felt. You feel such a responsibility to him, to his family, to all the people around the world who love him so much. No matter what, it's a, it's a very stark contrast to how these two guys are approaching the press when it comes to their performance of Elvis. Yeah, what do you think? 